So hello everyone, my name is Alan, the Armchair Athlete, and today I'm going to talk to you about the comparison between the 2016 Mustang GT versus the 2018 Mustang GT, and well, what I'm doing on July 7th, which is coming up very soon, so stay tuned. <laughs> So hello everyone, on this channel I usually show you video game stuff when it comes to racing as well as my Mustang GT in real life, but that's where I'm coming to you from today, this is my Mustang GT. But anyways, uh, July 7th, if you don't already know, come on down, downtown Burlington, uh, Ontario, basically uh, we're, there's going to be a huge gigantic car show, it's one of the bigger ones in Canada, my car has been invited to go there, so I'll be there. Uh, at the Discovery Ford tent, there's also going to be a an older 1960s Mustang. We're going to do a comparison video on those two cars as well. But anyways, I digress. In this video, we are going to be talking about the 2016 versus the 2018 Mustang GT. Now, right off the bat, we already know, or at least most of us should already know, the difference in the horsepower rating. The 2016 has 435. And then the 2018 has 465 to 470, depending on the model you get, if you get the bullet or not the bullet. Uh, but uh, from there as well, basically this, the one I'm in right now has been upgraded. It's got a, a tune as well as an air intake, as well as a Ford Racing exhaust. And there's my engine. Nope, uh, that's fine. And I'm back, but anyways, so... Uh, Let's get down to the physical features, what the car actually looks like from the front, as well as from the back. From the back, very similar. Uh, from the front though, there are some massive differences. The nose dips down lower, so it gives it more aerodynamics, uh, so it might, it might be a bit quicker, but if it had the same amount of power. Mine might have around the same amount of power, if not a bit more than the 2018, just because of the upgrades. However, from there as well, uh, we're also looking at the headlights. The headlights, they actually have uh, some kind of air intake uh, or airflow that goes through the actual bottom of the headlights, which is super cool. You don't normally see that uh, unless it's from like a high-end supercar. So that's really, really cool. Uh, so check that out. That's something that you don't really recognize or notice unless you really look close. Another thing that they have done is they have moved uh, some of the body, like the front bumper around. So instead of having an actual dedicated fog light, it's actually integrated with the signal, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's that's there, and they've moved the where that hole was, where the fog light was in the 2016. That's basically uh, an airflow um, area where the air would go to cool down the brakes as well as uh, giving better airflow and aerodynamics for the tires themselves. Because we all know better aerodynamics means for one, better gas mileage, which is something you will need in a Mustang GT because, well, uh, it's not a four-cylinder car, is it? And, and, and it's, uh, it's just something that's nice to have with your brakes, especially if you're racing. So uh, between the two, if you can pick up a 2016 at a lower price than a 2018 and put some upgrades, there's the neighbor making noise, which is fantastic when I'm trying to make a video. But anyways, if you can pick out a 2016 with some upgrades and get it about fifteen dollars to $20,000 cheaper in some cases, I say go for it. But a 2018 to get brand new, you'll know exactly what has been done to that car. So that's the other alternative. If you get one brand new, you can go do that as well. So, hey, what am I to say? I like my 2016. So anyways, I'll see you guys July 7th, which is two Saturdays from now. And down, down Burlington, Ontario at the Discovery Four tent. I'll see you guys there.